first of all, I want to say congratulations. I loved your documentary. I found it fascinating and I found it it's very it's very interesting and unique in so many ways. So I absolutely loved it. So, you know, for the people who don't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so my name is Louise. I'm a movie director and I'm an actress, but I had different lives, I would say, because I worked as well as a language teacher. I was a protection officer in charge of asylum uh, seekers' requests in order to listen to them and to know if they could be granted the refugee status or not. And right now I still work as a community interpreter which means I work with the hospitals, jails, social centers in general, NGOs, etc. You are amazing. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So Juan will be streaming today. And um, I, I highly recommend you guys to watch it because, again, it's just, it's just beautiful. And I feel that if I talk about it, I'm going to spoil it completely. So... <laughs> So what? you want me to spoil it for you, right? Yes, please do. <laughs> so what inspired you to, to, to do Juan, to create Juan? Basically, when uh, Jean, my cousin, arrived in France, so Jean was adopted by my aunt and my uncle. I was 10 years old, I think, and I remember the moment he entered at my grandparents' house and I've always thought, I don't know why, I've always thought I would go to Paraguay with him to look for his mother because uh, Sophie and Bertrand, my uncle and my aunt, always told us about his mother. They never met her, but they had the birth certificate with her name. And Jean always heard that he was adopted from Paraguay, that his mother was there. So that's how I got the idea of the movie. First, I wanted to go with him and he told me that he had thought about making a movie as well. So that's how we got decided to make it together. Wow, that, that's, that's crazy. How, what was the length of, you know, how, how long did it take to create the whole documentary? Uh, from the moment, so first of all, I took, so we went in Paraguay in 2017. I think I spoke to Jean about the idea to go with him and to make a movie probably six years before. So oh. it took six years for him to get decided to go. He had it in mind for a long time, but to get decided to go and to do it. And then from the moment he got decided, I remember it was in March. And he said, okay, we're going to do it. And I, I told him, okay, give me one year to get ready for production. And he said, no, 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 we're going now. So that was in March. In May, we started shooting in France. In October, we were in Paraguay. And then, to, uh, then for the editing, it took like two or three years because I had a first final version. And um, my assistant, Salome, who saw it, and a friend of mine told me, no, 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 no. Your final version is not good. I know you. This is not you. Change it. So we worked one more year on the, on the final editing. So in wow. total, from the idea to the final project, it took like 10 years. But from the moment we started shooting in France, March 2017, final editing, October 2020. That's crazy. That is crazy. You know, documentaries don't make me cry, right? In fact, I'm not a documentary fan, to, to, to be honest with you. When, um, when Jorge gave me this um, to take a look at it, I was just bawling. I could, um, I, I can, I just, I just have no, I have no words for it. Like it's, it's, it's pure, genuine love. That's, that's how I can describe this documentary. And I highly recommend all of you guys to, to see it. It gives you hope too, right? And it's, and it's so nice because at least, you know, there, sometimes there are people that are adopted, but people really hide the identity of it. And they're like, well, we're not going to say, um, who your parents are, I'm your parent, and that's it. And then it's it's even more heartbreaking when they have to find out, you know, at an older age and all of that stuff. So, you know, kudos to you to make it, to make the reality 
look as good as it has to look like. So, you know, yeah. I did not I, I did not make anything look like we just film reality. No, I mean, but I mean that that's what I that's what I that's what I mean. I mean it it the the cruel reality of of having to tell the truth, you know, it may it 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 makes the truth not look bad at all. That you can actually tell the truth and it's okay because the love still is still there and nothing yeah. is going to change you know that that's what i that's what i meant which i absolutely love and i recommend you guys to start watching one today can i just add something which yes. is very important right now for me regarding the movie now with me i've got different organizations of french people who were adopted coming from different countries from India, from Chile, from Guatemala and other countries. Yes. And those people have struggled or they are still struggling a lot to, to know where they are coming from. They want the French, invest the French government to lead or to order a French uh, investigation to help them to find out where they are coming from. And I think it's the situation of many, many adopted people. As I said, Jean, from the beginning in our family, we've always told him he was adopted and it was normal. I mean, we never, we never hide it. Uh, right. So Bertrand, my uncle and my aunt always told him they could help him and go with him to Paraguay to look for his uh, biological family. So the context was very important. Unfortunately for many, many people who were, who were adopted, they do not have the same luck and I they know. really need yeah, and they really need the, the, the help of all the governments because it's not a question of just people who were adopted in France. It's mm -mm. all over the world. And they really need some help for, to investigate, to know where they're coming from because there were lots of illegal adoptions, lots of trafficking. Some of them have fake papers. They have no way to find out where they're coming from. And if the governments try to work together on this to, to, to create a DNA test and like some ways for them to investigate and to know where they're coming from, that would be really, 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 really useful. And I really hope that Juan's going to help for that now. Because and Juan will help. I hope so. I really hope so. Yes, Juan will help. And I love that you're bringing this, um, that you're bringing this point. I found that I had a cousin. I had no idea that I had a cousin. Um, she's from Amsterdam and it was exactly the same thing. She was adopted. She didn't know that she was adopted. She found out that she was adopted when she was 26. And then she started, it took her seven years to find her half of her family. So I'm, I'm with you in all of this. I, I, yeah, I'm with you. I, I love how, how, how you're like sticking to this. And let's make this a reality. So people, please watch Juan. Okay, let's bring awareness to this. And let's just start saying the truth because this is what we have to do. 